Thank you again for taking time to for a devotion, uh, some time for yourself. On today's passage, uh, if there's a, a parallel with our lives today, it, it might be uh, as we're preparing to, to uh, or we have begun even, to, to go back to church, to, to begin that activity again, um, and people are uh, going back to work under new precautions, and the precautions would be the thing. As, as the soldiers go into battle, they have trained they're prepared for the dangers, and they know there are dangers, uh, but they are, have know the precautions. They know what they can do, uh, yet it's not until they, they get into uh, the thick of it or the activity that they realize uh, the benefit of their training. And so I'm going to begin a new chapter. Turn them over. Through the darkness, just before daybreak, the order is repeated from scout car to jeep, from tank to half track, from man to man. The pregnant silence comes alive with the noise of armored vehicles poised and ready for attack. Turn them over. The familiar command to move, heard so often in maneuvers, now orders the armed forces into its first battle. So this is what we have been waiting for, training for. Vehicle after vehicle slides noisily through the blackout, moving out to the dread something that lies waiting ahead. Men sit in their places, tense with an emotion that they'd never known before would often feel again, eyes peered into the darkness, trying in vain to see, wishing it were light, yet fearing the coming of dawn. A machine gun cracks out somewhere, rat-tat-tat. The too nervous trigger finger of a tense gunner, that's it, all it is. Radio operators nervously touch the dials, fearing that the all-important link of communication entrusted to them might not work clearly. What was that flare over yonder? Men gaze into the sky. Faint traces of the dawn begin to dim the stars, yet eyes are not looking at stars. Fantastic shadows seem to be even in the heavens. No it's not light enough yet for the dread dive bomber to come hurling out of the rising sun to pay its morning visit. Slowly, cautiously, the roaring engines move out toward the place where the foe is waiting. Does the enemy know, or shall we be able to surprise them? More than the engines of military machines were turning over as the dawn broke that morning. A few hours earlier, the orders had been given for this first day in battle. Maps had been studied in the crowded command tent. Each platoon leader had been given the specific instructions for his section. All was ready. Ready in the cold, precise manner of military machine. Just before dawn, the order would come, turn them over. But before then, catch a few minutes of sleep. Rest your bodies, relax the tense muscles. But who could relax when minds are turning over so many thoughts, when men all about were silently apprehensive, when a thousand and one moments crowded into the present instant, relax? What are the folks back home doing? Rest? What is going to happen tomorrow? Relax? Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray thee, Lord, my soul to keep. If I should die, I pray the Lord my soul to take. The grown man knelt beside his bedding roll there on the ground. Other nights he'd said his prayers, for he was one who prayed each night. 
but other nights he prayed after he'd crawled under the blankets but somehow tonight it seemed a little more fitting to kneel as he used to kneel beside his real bed at home now i lay me down why this prayer i haven't said this prayer since i was a child there are other things to pray for tonight dear god be with my loved ones be with me now i lay me down to sleep rest relax even tense nerves and disturbed minds fell into slumber for the few remaining hours of the night then zero hour well we're not under that sort of tension or imminent uh, activity or engagement with a, with a dangerous force. But we are preparing to get back to some of the important activities that, that we have um, been missing, been interrupted, uh, plans about how can we do school? And is there going to be a surge uh, in cases uh, in our county, in the state, in the nation, and what's behind that? What's the cause of that? Many questions. Prepare, prepare, prepare to be safe, prepare to uh, work, prepare for those activities to come, and may we be all the more filled with the richness and meaning and purpose that we get uh, from the work that we do, from our time with family, and all the, all the things that come our way. Uh, may we see that God has a hand and is giving a blessing every day, many, many blessings. One that we can count on and one that is a place of rest and security for us always is this passage from the fifth chapter of the letter to the Romans. It's one of the readings for this Sunday. Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. We have peace with God and unpeace with the world disruption and dis dis-ease with the world, at least I have that peace with God because I know Jesus has forgiven my sin. Jesus has come that I might know God and know how to pray. Paul continues, because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand. And we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials. For we know that they help us develop endurance, and endurance develops strength of character, and character strengthens our confidence in hope of salvation, that eternal life, that that nothing stands in the way of our relationship with the Lord. And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with love. So whatever we're facing, whatever you're facing, um, know that, that God gives us this hope that is from God, and nothing in the world can take it away even in dying, we have this hope of life with Christ, in Christ, uh, and in his glory. Um, and that is a strength and a comfort, may it be for you, our faith, um, as you face each day, as you set aside anxiety to be at peace, having peace with God, the passage begins. And we need that peace as we work with others, uh, live with our family, um, and seek the right paths. Uh, difficult choices may be ahead of you. And for all of this, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, 
we can rest at night knowing that you hold the next day. We can rest counting the blessings of, of what you have given us this day, knowing that you forgive us our blunders from the previous day. And we look forward to more blessings and goodness, time with family and friends, meaningful work to do. Lord, you are in all of these and you clear the way through the forgiveness of sins through Jesus Christ and you give us a spirit of hope. So Lord, please continue to, to uplift our spirits Help us to see what is good and right and just that we might participate in your goodwill. And we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. God be with you.